Kate with CrateInsider.com, and I'm here with Ben from AFCA Racing, and we're going to talk a little bit about cooling. Now, Ben, I have one question. There's We have single pass, double pass, and triple pass radiators. What is the difference, and which one is really the best for a crate engine? So on your, uh, your radiators, you've got basically water coming into the radiator, going across the core, and then coming out of an outlet. Uh, on your single pass radiator, you'll look at the orientation of the, the necks and you'll see that there's an inlet on one side and then there's the outlet that'll be on the other side. And then on a triple pass is the same configuration. You're gonna have an inlet and an outlet. So what you gotta look for there is the seams on the tank itself. That's how you can tell the difference between them. But how they work is just as they're, they're named, a single pass, the, the coolant makes a single pass across the radiator before it goes into the engine and a double pass, it's actually going to make a pass, two passes across this coo this radiator before it goes back into the engine. And on a triple pass, it's going to make three passes. So it's going to go across, back, and across, and then go back into the engine. Um, as far as what we found that works the best for the crate, light, the crate light models is a double pass radiator, where the coolant makes a single pass across the, the top part of the radiator, and then it'll make a single pass across the bottom part of the radiator, and then back into the engine. Now, as a, as a follow-up, I understand you need more water pressure, that the more passes it has to make, the more water pressure you need in order to make the make coolant go through the radiator. Yeah, when you, when you have multiple passes, each pass will require more pressure to get the water across it because you basically re have reduced the amount of tubes that it goes through at one given time. So it's kind of like the water hose analogy. If you have a water hose standing with the hole wide open, you're going to put 10 gallons a minute out of it and it's going to come out a certain velocity. Well, on a double pass, it's like taking your thumb and putting halfway over the water hose. The water is going to speed up. It takes more pressure in the hose to put it out. It's still going to put out 10 gallons a minute, but it's going to come out a lot faster, a lot higher velocity. Um, same difference on a triple pass. Now you've got three passes, so now you're covering up 66% of the hole, and now your water is even coming out even faster. So that's one of the issues with... Uh, that people miss whenever they go from a single to a double to a triple, a lot of times they're, they're running the water pumps too fast. And with that water going so fast across the, the radiators, it has no time to cool down. So if you get a guy who says, you know, I went from a triple to a double and it actually helped the cooling, and he actually went down to a single and helped it even more, it's because he's spinning the water pump too fast. Gotcha. Well, that is super helpful, and of course, we do everything exactly for crates, so we have double-pass radiators. We have several from, from AFCO, some lightweight options, um, so check those out in our store, but thank you so much, Ben. Appreciate it.